sister. And uh, this week, you guys will hear a lot of inspiring stories from brave and strong people, and I want to introduce you to one of them now. Her name is Annika Hatzler. Annika is 27 years old. She's from, yes, some fancier. She's from Los Angeles in the United States of America. She is 27 years old, and she is a veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps. Annika lost her foot four years ago due to a tumor, but Annika is not only a veteran, she is also a social media star, she's an influencer, she's a model, she's a motivational speaker, she's an actor, a brand ambassador, and most of all, she is incredibly funny. Steven is with her right now. Welcome to Europe for the very first time, Annika Hutzler. Thank you. Hey, Annika, good to meet you. It's on, it's working, it's working. It's interesting because it's your first time in Europe, but you already speak fluent German. Uh, not fluent, not Okay, yet. what's your favorite sentence in German? Um, ich verstehe nur Bahnhof. Ich verstehe. <laughs> okay, ich verstehe. I do not understand anything. It's basically yeah. the translation. Yeah. Oh, funny. Oh, you know, another, another German sentence, very important, is kann ich dort parken? Wiederholen Sie. Uh, can I? Can I? Dort, dort? Parken. Parken. It means can I park there? Because in Germany, everyone is very uptight about parking spaces. Uh. Um, I want to. I want to read you a quote. It's really interesting what you said. The day of my amputation was the best day of my life. Yes. So when I was going through my injury, they were trying to save my leg for well over a year. And every surgery I had, every procedure I had, ended up with more infections, more pain, more problems. But the day that I had my leg amputated was the first sign of hope I ever had. Because I had so many role models, some of them in this room today, but so many role models to show me that, yes, I may be losing a limb, but I am getting my entire life back. It's, I mean, it's amazing to see how much you do, how many people you inspire. It's, it's really great. But how do you overcome these dark times? I mean, we've been talking about dark times in everyone's lives. Yes, there was definitely a lot of dark times. There were so many days that I didn't want to get out of bed because it was so easy to make up excuses. I'm in too much pain, my foot hurts, my leg doesn't fit. But you know, sports really did save my life because I made a commitment to my coaches, to my teammates, that I was gonna be at practice that day. So as much as I didn't want to, I made that commitment, so I showed up, and you know, every single time, I felt better after I was there. We heard that you have about 26 different jobs, <laughs> um, and you, I, I think you are competing in how many different sports at um, the Invictus Games? At the Invictus Games, I'm competing in four different sports, but I actually participate in 19 different sports. How? <laughs> How? How do you do that? Ni 19. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, so at the Invictus Games is what? Table tennis is what you said? Yes. Uh, track and field, swimming? Yes. Track and field is. Okay, track and field is basically two, and then yes. and swimming? Yes. And what are the other 15? Oh, do you really want to know? Yeah, some of them, not all of them. <laughs> um, I also do snowboarding, skiing, skateboarding, roller skating, rollerblading, surfing, wake surfing, um, archery, air rifle shooting, uh, <laughs> amputee soccer, you name it, I've probably done it. Okay, I'm, I know that the U.S. have a different time zone to Europe, but do they have a different, you know, amount of hours per day? <laughs> not no, quite. It's not, it, it doesn't work that way. Um, it's amazing, and I, I think you're a role model for everyone, and it's very inspiring what you do. Um, last but not least, what I would like to know is, um, how do you cope with everything that's happening at the moment? How do you sort of plan your day? And what is the most important message that you have for all the people who are watching now and for all the other competitors? You know, the most valuable thing to me is community. And that's exactly what Invictus Games is about, is the community we have here. When we get injured, when we leave the military, we feel like we've lost a, a sense of ourselves. But coming back here today, meeting all these new friends from all different countries, we're all here for one mission, and we are all one team here together. Thank you, Annika. Thank you for these sweet words. Please do follow this amazing lady on Instagram. 
It's just really impressive. Thank Appreciate you, Annika. All the Thank very you. best for the competition. And over to you, Hartnett. Hi, my name is Annika Hutzler. I am representing Team US. I am competing in track, field, swimming, and table tennis, and I am a right below knee amputee. The Invictus Games really conceptualizes the fact that we are here to show what we are able to push through and what we're able to accomplish just with the power of our mindset. The fact that there are competitors here from different countries, different branches, different injuries, different stories, but we all come together because we all have one common goal. My story began when I enlisted into boot camp. I was in the Marine Corps and I enlisted into boot camp and I started feeling pain in my foot. And I just was told, hey, that's normal. The Marine Corps loves to say pain is weakness leaving the body. So I just thought this is normal pain. And I kept that mindset all the way to finish boot camp, to finish my combat training, and then eventually the pain got too bad, so I went to medical. And when I went to medical, they told me, you have a stress fracture. So my bone was broken a little bit in my foot. They put me in a walking boot, and when the normal recovery time for a stress fracture didn't happen, when we got to the end of the eight weeks and my foot wasn't healed, they did an MRI and my doctor came in on February 1st, 2018 and he said, so you never had a stress fracture, but you do have a tumor, but don't freak out. And at that point, I honestly was in shock. I was like, I have a tumor? Like, that's not what I thought I was coming in here to be told. And so I was like, so what's our next step? And we began trying to save the foot. And there was a lot of surgeries done, a lot of procedures done to try to shrink the tumor, to try to remove the tumor, and some things that ended very poorly, which ended in infection, ended in nerve pain, ended in um, scar tissue, nerve damage. And so I looked at my doctor one day and I said, how many more times are we gonna do this surgery to try to remove the tumor before there's so much scar tissue, before there's so much pain, before it's not worth saving anymore? And my doctor told me, I give it five to 10 years. And so at 22 years old, I said, cut it off now. I'm not waiting the next five to 10 years, wasting my life knowing that this is inevitable. On February 2nd, 2019, they amputated my right leg below the knee and was the best day of my life because during this time that they were trying to save my leg, I had so many life-threatening infections. I was in and out of hospitals. I was just going doctor visit to doctor visit. And I think it's very easy for us as individuals to think, why me? Why is this happening to me? Like, it's, it gets very frustrating and very discouraging. I saw so many people be successful with their amputation. I have a very difficult time with how my service ended in the military. Why am I the person that is representing Team US when other people had a, in my opinion, a more realistic military experience? But the reality is there's other people out there like me. I think the Invictus Games represents resiliency, community, and being unconquerable.